On January 15, 2022, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha Pai volcano in the nation of Tonga exploded with a force equivalent to the detonation of 6 million tons of TNT. This released a powerful shockwave and caused a large landslide to occur, generating a tsunami wave of up to 15 meters or 49 feet in height. What made this eruption so unique was that in the last 35 years, scientists have been able to predict almost every single large volume explosive eruption. The work of geologists saved many lives, for example, during the Mount Pinatubo eruption in 1991 by correctly interpreting the magnitude of the imminent event. Yet, at Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai, we were unable to predict what became the world's largest volcanic eruption in the last decade. So, why were we unable to predict this eruption? The answer relates to how scientists predict volcanic eruptions. Around the planet, scientists can often give more than a week's warning before a volcano erupts as we analyze data transmitted from sensors and placed around a volcano's edifice. Useful information which these high-tech sensors catch are harmonic tremor from volcanic activity and uplift from the intrusion of magma. However, in the case of Hunga Tonga, this information was not available. Why? There are no sensors placed on or near the island. This was not due to incompetence, but rather due to how expensive these systems are. I asked the US Geological Service how much it would cost to place a single basic model seismograph, and they quoted me 60,000 US dollars, plus another 2,500 a year in upkeep. For a volcano to be thoroughly monitored, at least three of these sensors alongside ground deformation detecting equipment are needed. Once everything is said and done, that totals around a quarter million dollars. In the United States, such expenditures are possible. It is not, however, possible in Tonga, as their citizens only make a combined 552 million US dollars each year. Thus, if the 18 active volcanoes within Tonga were to all be thoroughly monitored, a tax increase would be necessary, and we all know how much people love taxes. Also, from a geological perspective, there are several other volcanoes within Tonga which are seemingly far higher risk volcanoes that have produced ancient eruptions in order of magnitude larger than what Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai produced on January 15th. These include large islands such as Niuafo O and Tofua, which each contain a caldera with a massive crater lake in their center. Although Hunga Tonga was known to contain a large submarine caldera, so did the majority of volcanoes within the small nation of Tonga. As for why satellite data was not helpful, small islands are very difficult to get ground deformation data off of as it can screw with results if only a limited landmass is available. My hope is that this eruption serves as a warning to other nations about the dangers of shallow submarine or small island volcanoes. One such example of another island which could produce a large collapse at any moment in the next century is the Cadover volcano in Papua New Guinea. As more information continues to pour in on the eruption, we can now get a better estimate of the magnitude of what occurred. We know that two separate landslides occurred, the second of which was associated with a powerful volcanic explosion. While the exact size of these interpreted landslides are unclear, I estimate that the one on January 14th removed 100 million cubic meters of rock. The landslide the following day was more voluminous, removing about 2 cubic kilometers of material. While it is being widely reported that this is the first volcanic tsunami since the 1883 eruption of Krakatoa, this is not correct. Volcanic tsunamis have occurred at 10 different volcanoes since then, with several of these producing more than one collapse. Thus, since the edifice of Hunga Tonga has collapsed, we can expect it to collapse again at some point in the next century. As for how rare far-reaching volcanic tsunamis are, that is tsunamis which affect an entire sea or ocean basin, those recur about every 70 years. These past landslides provide a model of what will happen next at the Hunga Tonga volcano. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Robert Leal for supporting this channel.